Hello, hello. My name is Evan Bond. I am a horror thriller suspense author, and I thought it would be fun to do a thing here on YouTube where I play horror games. Um, yeah, I'm not good at horror games. <laughs> As a horror author, you think I would be very good at them, but uh, uh, no, no, I'm not really that good at it. This game, though, isn't super scary, so I guess it's okay, but um, yeah. Let's jump right in, because I've been watching a few streamers play this game, and it looked kind of fun, and looked kind of creepy, so I thought, kick it off. So let's do it. <clears throat> City House. I did... Okay. So I, I have played this a couple of times just to figure out kind of how the gameplay works and everything, so I'm a little familiar with it. I won't say I'm the... What the heck? Yes, 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 yes. Attention, employee. Anomalies have it. Do I need to... Do I need to keep this? You guys know, right? Yeah, just get rid of it. I swear when that thing popped up, I thought I saw her face move. Am I crazy? Anybody else see that? I swear I saw that. Oh, well. Anyway. Um, yeah, I watched a couple of streamers play this game. And like I said, I played it once or twice myself just to kind of see how the game works. Um, I've been okay at it. I don't think I, I haven't I haven't beaten this level, so I'm obviously not that good at it. <clears throat> but maybe this will be the time, right? Maybe. But we'll see. So anyway, for those of you who don't know me, my name is Evan Bond. Like I said before, I am a horror thriller suspense author. Uh, I am an indie author, which means I am not published by a large traditional publisher. I am published self, actually, self-published. And that means that I do a lot of the, well, not a lot of, all of the marketing and the obviously the writing. The I do a lot of my own editing. Of course, I give that off to editors and everything. And I do have professional book cover designers and everything that I employ. But, but I do pretty much everything by myself. That's why it's called self-publishing, because it's a lot of work. But, it's also a lot of fun. So, if you're someone out there who really wants to... What is that? Was that there the whole time? That looks new. Am I crazy? That looks new. I think that's new. Where are we to study? I'm going to say... Extra object. I could be wrong... I'm probably wrong. I swear, I did not see that before. All right, cool. Um, as I was saying, if you are someone who is interested in the publishing or writing field and you don't really know much about it or you're curious about doing so, Jesus Christ. That scared me. What is this, a ghost? That's a ghost. Yeah, well, bye, ghost. Everyone say bye, ghost. Um, yeah, hit me up on. Uh, I'll put links to all my social medias and everything. I like to. I like to support people. If you got questions about how to do stuff, you know, send me a DM on Instagram. Comment down in the below in in the in in the in this thing, the video. I'm an author. I swear. Sometimes I know word good, but. Is that always that close? All right, now I'm overlooking at things. I'm, I'm, I'm looking at things too closely. But, oh, that moved. That definitely moved. I saw that. You thought you were going to get away with it, suitcase, but you won't. Um, but, yeah, so if you want to check out any of my writings, uh, currently the latest work that I have out, is called The Girl from Salem. And it is a Kindle Vela exclusive. And if you don't know what Kindle Vela is, it's, um, I believe it's it's best described as a serialized uh, story. Each episode released is a, is a different episode in a larger story, uh, one episode at a time. So if you like short stories or serialized um, stories or anything like that, then... Kindle Vela is 
perfect for you. Ooh. Uh, you obviously just go to Amazon or pull it up on your Kindle, and you can read it both that way. But the girl from Salem follows a woman who is trying to find out what happened to her sister, who went missing when she was only six years old. Alice Parker gets a random text message that basically tells her that her sister is still alive and gives her coordinates to follow and she rushes out on an adventure to find her sister in a small town of you weren't there before what do they call that extra object where are we living room extra object goodbye um but yes in the small town of Newgrave, tennessee and things in Newgrave, tennessee are not as they appear and that's all i'm going to tell you but like i said that is live now you can go check that out that would be great because the way Kindle Vela works is every every episode that you read, us authors get paid for it, which is great. Um, and you don't have to commit to reading an entire book. You can read per episode, and if three episodes in, you're like, you know what, this this isn't for me, and you didn't you didn't uh, crack open an entire book, but hopefully you'll love it, and I think it's gonna be cool. But anyway, enough about me. Let's find these anomalies. One, two, three, four. Now I'm counting pillows. The problem is with this game, or maybe it's more about me, is I don't know how subtle of a change everything can be. Like, can it be so subtle that, like, the colors uh, flip-flop on this, or the pillow shifts only slightly? Like, how, how subtle can these changes be? You know? I just don't know. I really don't know. So far, every time I've played this game, I've failed because too many anomalies pop up, but I don't ever see them all. Ooh, I see that, though. That painting changed. You guys see that right there? Look at that. That guy was not there before. Where am I? The study. Painting anomaly. Boom! Oh, just saving the world from anomalies. What do I, what, what, what I got to say? So, yeah. And trust me, this game doesn't seem scary. And I guess technically it's not that scary. But there are times where there are some... thought I saw something. Some crazy little jump scares that, that get you. So. Which is fine. Because jump scares don't bother me. I am a horror author after all. I don't really care about jump scares. But what I can't do is actual horror games where I'm, like, the main character and I'm walking and shooting and doing stuff. I can't. I don't know. It's too, too stressful. Too tense. Um, but, of course, having said that, I will probably have to start playing those because I'm sure... Wow. That looks like distortion. What do you say? Distortion? I'm going to go with distortion. Maybe it's a camera malfunction. Oh, camera mouth, or uh, distortion, yeah. All right. Laptops there, pillows. Man. I just don't see much. Whoa, what was that? All right, I'm going to go with camera malfunction. I think something happened. Could have just been, like, a little bit of lag, but where is camera Let's see. It seems like something happened, but no. All right, all right, all right. Fine, we'll move on. Like seriously, how subtle can these be? I, I really just don't know. Like I said, the, the yeah, okay, that got me. Just a little scary. What do we call that intruder? He is not pretty. All right, get out of my house, intruder. Yeah, that's what I thought. Alright. Uh, what's the scariest game you've ever played? Hmm? Tell me that. Let me know in the comments below. Like, scariest game you've ever played. Maybe there's a game that you just won't play. Because it's too scary. For me, it's uh, mostly all of them. Because I'm bad at horror games. 
That's why I'm playing this, because it's not really a horror game. You know, like Five Nights at Freddy's? I could play that. It's just a bunch of jump scares. It's not that big of a deal. Oh, how many have I missed? I'm sure I've missed so many. Jeez. Alright, sauna. Light anomaly. Fix. Yeah. Come on. Thank you. Jeez. Alright. Next. God. Yep. That was loud. Alright. Uh, let's see. Everything looks fine. I feel like I don't catch stuff in this room as often. And I think it's because there's like glares on my monitor a little bit. But... Moving on. There's no extra objects that I can tell. Paintings seem to be the same. Nothing seems to have moved. I don't know. I just don't know. And I'm probably going to get a warning up here in a few seconds that's like, oh, there's so many anomalies in the plate, but I don't, I'm not seeing them. I just don't see them. I don't... Let me know if I'm missing them, man. Let me know. You guys aren't telling me. Hmm. Well. Were there that many magazines? Yeah, there was that many magazines. Okay. Also, like, what's the lore behind this game? Like, you're just a guy in an office who's just watching security cameras at some random house? Is it... Is the... Okay, well, that's weird. Uh, study... Extra object. Is this house, like, an SCP? Like... What is it? What, 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 what is going on here? Yeah, you get out of your statue, Ed. Oh, hello. That was a light anomaly. I saw that one. Uh, light. Boop. Ow. 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 Fix it! Thank you. Alright, now we're finding them. Now we're finding some. Okay. We're doing alright. We're doing alright. Painting's the same. That's all there. That hasn't moved. Book's there. That's the same. Same, same, same. Everything looks the same to me. If something's different and you're yelling at me, I'm sorry. Sorry. I haven't seen... Well, I guess this is where that creepy dude was, so... I was about to say I haven't seen anything in this room in a while, but... I guess we just did, so... Everything seems to be the same in here. I don't like this painting. Okay. Same in here. There's gotta be something, right? I know I'm missing something here, because... It's been too long. But I can't spend too long in a room. Because if I spend too long in one room, I miss everything in other rooms. Those were always there, right? I know that was. But that? Yeah, that was always there, right? Yeah, it's always there. Uh, is there like a... Jesus! God, that really got me. Ha! Huh. You're gonna go away, I hope. Please, please fix. Please, thank you. Huh. Now just imagine that guy that was standing right there. Don't look. But he's currently right behind you. He is. His name's Greg, he's a cool guy. Is he behind me? You guys are telling me if he's behind me, right? I mean, I can see my camera, but I'm not going to look because then everyone will know that I'm scared that there might be something behind me, and I'm not scared that there's something behind me. I'm not scared at all. Do, do, do. Something different. Come on, come on. I mean, I know we just had a creepy dude staring at us, but something else, right? Pictures are the same. Do, do, do. Hmm. Well, while we're waiting to see if there's other things in this house, I guess I can tell you a little bit about my 
most recent book called Echoes of the Past. And it is about a woman who is escaping an abusive relationship, moves to a small town, uh, and, well, basically someone starts killing people in town and, you know, why not blame the new girl? And she's desperately trying to escape with her young daughter, her nine-year-old daughter, Tara. Uh-oh. Here's that notice. This is where I lose every time. Yeah, 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 we're receiving multiple. So is there something in this room? Does anybody see anything in this room? Because I don't. Nothing. There's nothing here. Definitely nothing here. This room seems to be fine. This happens every time. And I don't know what's missing, or added, or moved, or changed, or what. There's nothing. What? I'm so confused. There's nothing. Do you see anything? I don't. I see nothing. Nothing. Ten anomalies, though. It's not bad. Is there maybe no... Can you not beat it? I, I don't I don't know if you can beat it or not. Maybe it's just it's a go until you don't go anymore? I... Well, no, I guess you gotta get to, like, 6 a.m., don't you? Ugh, oh, I've never beat this. <laughs> it's driving me crazy. All right. Next one. Try it again. All right, maybe we need to... You know what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know how to play. Let's spend a little bit more time in the beginning on each room so we can really get a lay for how everything looks. So we've got this creepy picture, this picture of like upside down trees or something. These two lights. We got the flowers, the three books, the bed, the curtains. This picture that I would assume changes a lot but I have never once seen change. This chair, these three items. This thing likes to move. Tables. All right. Nothing creepy there. Open window with a fence. I would assume that sometimes there's someone standing outside, but I've never seen it. Lady who just stands there. This thingy. Whatever the heck this is. It's like an entertainment center, I guess. Some bottles of wine. A chair. This table with the four magazines. The tissues. I mean... All right. I feel like I got a good lay for this. Two paintings on the wall, like diamonds or something. Pumpkins, apples, wine. Uh, is that what a can opener or something over there? Bread box or what, whatever that is. Pot. To uh, toilet paper. There's toilet paper in the kitchen. Toaster. This plant. This chair. Propine. This thing. Okay. All these pillows. These two planty thingies. Those two things. Door closed. Spinny fan. Ah, <sighs> railroad painting, diploma, open laptop, bottle, bottle, tissue, chair, chair. I mean, I'm wondering if a lot of stuff down here seems to change and I don't notice. So, propane, books, box, empty, this doohickey, the boxes, the whatever, the book, painting, painting, tires, door, that painting, which probably changed and I missed it, upside down chair. That. Bleach. Bottles. Okay. This is probably the easiest room, and I'm probably missing a bunch of stuff. You got two pillows, a bottle, a rug, uh, this bucket and the broom or ladle or whatever that is, the lights. And we're back here. Okay. All right. So I feel like we've got a good grasp on what these rooms are supposed to look like. So now we're going to go through one by one. Everything is the same. And if anything has changed now, I mean, it's real subtle. Ooh. Pillows were there. Yep, yeah, I'm watching you. Oh! Ho 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 ho! How many times has that happened? <laughs> I bet that's happened a lot. Uh, yeah, okay. What, already? What? Already? Ah, uh. 
Okay, yeah. Crap. That's a little early to lose. I am terrible at this. Yeah, get rid of that. Yeah, you stay there. Okay, um... That's all the same. Um... That... No. That's the same... I guess I spent way too long in the beginning. Checking everything out. How is it gonna say multiples? I... I don't see multiples. I feel insane. I feel crazy. Oh, so crazy. Alright, well that's an extra item. Wait, was that there before? Did I just miss that? I mean... Was that, was that there before? Somebody tell me if that was there before. Go away. Thank you. Okay. So, it might not have been there before, or it might have been, so... I've been kind of operating under the assumption that when something happens in one room, it's not going to happen in the same room again frequently. Or very, very recent. Shortly after. But... That's obviously a load of crap. So I shouldn't assume things. Although I'm assuming that every one of these rooms seems to be the same. The same, I think. Ah, hello. Now, is that a door open? Where am I? Kitchen? Uh, we'll say door opening and closing. Because, I mean, technically it's an open door. It's like a cabinet door or a fridge door, but it is technically an open door. Yeah. We know what we're doing. We got this one. This is where we go to 6 a.m. or 7 a.m. or 9 a.m. I don't know what time we're supposed to go to. Sometimes I don't read instructions. And then I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing. And then I blame the game. Well, the game didn't tell me. Although I think I'm right in this case. I really don't think it does say, but... I don't know, maybe it tells you in the beginning when I just keep skipping it. Like I said. I heard a bump. There was a bump outside my, my door, or my office. Also, if you are interested, one of these days here soon, I'm gonna do an office tour right here on YouTube. I'm gonna, I got some interesting stuff in my office to show off. That is different. My expert deductive skills tell me that there is a painting anomaly in this room. It wasn't a woman in a shirt. It was a creepy, like, fence thing. Yep. Yeah. Ain't nothing get by me except for everything that's already gone by me. Because I am apparently really bad. Fan still spinning, but uh, but yeah, I got a lot of cool cool stuff in my office. My office is pretty neat, and I thought I would do a fun little. I've got like a couple of props from movies and stuff, and I thought I would share that and show it off. So if that sounds cool, you know, leave a like, smash the bell, and subscribe, and you know, do all the the triggery things. Do it, or the creepy dudes in this game will show up at your house. I mean, they're really nice, so, I mean, you might want them there. So, it might be kind of cool, actually. Well, I guess we survived that first bout of there are too many anomalies, so... And that's the other thing. What constitutes too... Hello. Too many anomalies. You know, like... Two? Three? Four? Five? Six? Alright. Laptop. Seven? Eight? Okay, I'm done. 
Alright, um... Everything seems normal here. I think. I feel like I'm overdue for a jump scare. This is one of the rooms that I don't seem to catch a lot of stuff in. Which means that I've probably missed a ton of stuff in this room. Where I've just heard a noise. Oh, 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 oh! I saw that. Okay, yeah, you calm yourself. Where is the door? Calm yourself, 2 a.m. Also, don't be opening my doors and coming to my house. That's what I thought. Next. Nothing. Hey, I was talking about a book earlier. Uh, yeah, my book, Echoes of the Past. Basically, long story short, it's about a woman's desperate attempt to save her young daughter from the clutches of a town gone mad. Basically. And it's uh, actually an Amazon bestseller. So, you know, I think it might be okay. But, I'll let you decide. I'll leave a link to it below. Uh, that and The Girl from Salem. I'll link both of those. I'll link all my social medias if you want to reach out to me. Like I said, if you're a writer and you want to know more about writing process or you want to learn how to self-publish or indie publish or whatever, I mean, there's a ton of great resources out there that are way better than me, but you just want to chat about it, I am always down to chat. You know. And I got a new book coming out this year. That moved. It was very interested in my new book. It was like, what? You, new book, you say? That's not the bedroom. Uh, where's movement? Why am I dumb? There it is. So I have a new book coming out this year. Artwork is currently being done on it, and it is called After Death. And it follows a ghost named Jeffrey Rains, who is a bounty hunter for death. Uh, the death. He hunts... Wandering spirits that hurt the living, upset the balance of life and death, and blah blah blah. And death gives him his hardest challenge yet, which is to reap one of the living, which of course is something he cannot do. Um, but this man has found a way to cheat death and live longer than he's supposed to, and he's hurting innocent spirits in the process. So this one's kind of more of a horror paranormal fantasy, if you will. And I am so excited for it. It is going to be really good. That comes out later this year. I was going to put it out in May, but the art is taking out. Okay. Uh, art is taking a little bit longer than I anticipated, so it might not be out in May. But it doesn't matter. It will be out this year, and I will definitely put a release date. Uh, I will announce a release date when it's closer. But if you want more info on that, you can always sign up for my newsletter. Because I will be putting out more information as we get closer. But it's going to be a good book. I am super excited for it. And it's going to be a series. It's just, this is book one in a, in a series of books following Jeffrey Rains. And I love it because <clears throat> it's just such a fun, he's such a fun character. He's, he's a ghost. He doesn't care much for the living. He's just hunting spirits, do what he likes to do, and then he gets, has to get involved in our world, and it's it's fun. It's a lot of fun. It's got some spooky elements to it, some creep factors, some fun. I am so excited to get this book out there. Now, if only I could find some anomalies. It's already 2.44. I can't tell if I'm doing good or bad. Or both. It's probably both. Laptop, everything is normal. 
I mean, it probably isn't normal. I'm probably missing like 400 things every every time. Oh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Missing freaking bottle. Didn't think we'd notice, but we did. Did I just move? It moved. Move it to move. Where am I? Hallway? Hallway. Movement. God, I'm terrible at this. Thank you. It's all there. I think we're doing better this time. I really do. Jesus. Bedroom, intruder. Oh, don't you look at me. Uh-uh. I don't like you looking at me. I said get out. Oh. That breathing. Ugh. Creepy. Gotta say, the uh, difference in all the intruders so far has been kind of cool. Like, they've been different intruders almost every time. Pretty creepy. Did I miss something in here? doing it oh light distortions in the hallway how have I not memorized these rooms yet come on there we go oh oh ho, 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 ho. that's an intruder oh that's an intruder how many times has that happened I hope that's never happened <laughs> if I miss that, that's really creepy. God, these intruders, they're... They're getting worse as the time goes on. Imagine that. Also seems to be more and more intruders as the time goes on. Not sure I'm cool with that. More and more intruders? That's not fair. Ugh. Oh! Oh, what is this? What is this? Living room? Intruder? Ha ah. ha. Oh, God. Oh, God. No! Go away. Oh, thank God. <laughs> ha. All right. Were there always two things? There were always two things. Now I'm just getting paranoid. Do not look at the windows. Do not tell me what to do. What do you call that? Graffiti? I'm going to call it other. Ah. Uh. Yes. Ooh, that painting finally changed, though. Finally. I've been looking at that the entire time thinking that's going to change. And it never has. But now it has. I think we're on the last hour, guys. I think we are. Can we make it? We can make it. We can do it. As long as I don't do something stupid and mess up poorly. Whoa! Oh! Oh! Painting in the living room. I saw that. I saw that. Look at that frowny face. Get rid of that frowny face. Be happy. There it goes. That's better. Okay, if it's 6 a.m., this is... We're getting close to the final countdown. Let's double check. I didn't go too fast. Mike? Oh, oh, never heard that sound before.
satisfied. I'm happy with that. Okay, can I make it stop? 24 anomalies. Wow. 24 anomalies. Wow. That's a lot of anomalies. Yeah. Well, that is all I have time for. So, you know, click the uh, click the stuff down below. Like in the subscribe bell. Whatever. Just, you know, do all that stuff so the anomalies don't come get you. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, check out my books if you want to. If not, uh, if you like this, let me know because I might do some more. I'll probably do more of Observation Duty. This game was fun. Maybe do some other things. I don't know. Some other slightly creepy games. Maybe even more horror as the uh, time goes on. I don't know. We'll see. But, um, see you next time. Bye.